What's poppin'? It's your boy, man, the Mad Cleveland Browns fan, man, coming to you live and direct, man, from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, man. You can't be mad at this one, man. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you some truth, you know, to everybody out there in Ohio, Cleveland, all out there, you know, that's still going through the winter times, man. Trust me, man. My heart goes out to you, man, because y'all holding it down for me. You know, I have to travel back and forth. I, I, I mean, you know, I, I, I d the years of staying in the winter time in, in, in Ohio, man, Akron, because I grew up in Cleveland, moved to Akron, been to Canton, uh, and, and then you know I just traveled all over Ohio, just doing my thing, man. When you, when you, when you, I mean, I love where I'm from, you know. I, I you know, I love where I'm from, but it's just winter time, woof. I told my guys, I used to tell my people, man, the year the year I was leaving, you know, the year I was leaving Cleveland, I, was, I mean, leaving Ohio, uh, I was like, you know what? I was watching the Game of Thrones, man. Shout out to the Game of Thrones. And I was like, guess what? The Winter Walkers are coming. <laughs> no, what is called the White Walkers are coming. The Winter Walkers, White Walkers are coming when the winter's coming. And then they was about to have that fight with all this stuff. Like, man, that's what I told everybody. I was like, it's coming in. The snow starts stuff coming in. My Man, listen, man, man, all kind of aches and pains start happening, man, and man, when that weather start coming in Ohio, man, back start aching knees and all that stuff. <laughs> so I say, man, shout out to everybody out there, man, in Ohio, hold it down, Cleveland, let's go, man, bark like a dog, man, y'all hold it down, but I had to leave, I had to come to sunny Las Vegas, baby. You know, I be shoot LeBron, we in the same company, the same city, man. My cousin went to the same middle school as you and everything, man. Hey, it's, it's amazing. Like, y'all, I mean, it's, seriously, like, they play basketball at, at, at Riddinger together and everything, man. If y'all don't know where Riddinger Middle School was, it's a middle school out there in Akron, man. Shout out. But, um, you know, he left. He went to Miami, man. You know, it, it, it broke my heart, man. I broke everybody's TV. I broke everybody's TV that was watching it. I didn't care who was watching it. If you was watching the LeBron decision, I broke your TV, man. But then it, if time got going and I just, I grew up, I got mature because me and LeBron, I got LeBron by a couple of months on the age side. I'm 37. I just turned 37 February 3rd. He just turned uh, 37 on uh, December something. So I'm like, yo, it's starting to get cold, man. I'm, get, I'm not getting no younger. <laughs> hey, and when you and when you when you work out as much as I do, man, you would be as athletic as I am, and you do all these sports and you running around all the time. Like in your business, especially when your business, you know, is, is based upon traveling, man. You like, yo, man, when Ohio hit that winter come, you don't know what you're gonna get. You may have a winter where it's like super cold, or you have a winter where it's crazy snow, or you have a winter where it's rain. You may have a winter where it's 50 degrees, man. You never know what that Ohio. I'm going to just keep it real with you. But right now, man, it's a beautiful day out here, man, in Las Vegas, man. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, man. Tell all your fam about me, man. And when you come to Las Vegas, make sure y'all tap in, man. Y'all check out all the Cleveland sports bars, all the bars. I mean, any place out here in Vegas, man, when you come to Vegas, you make sure you come to Las Vegas. Feel it. You make sure you come to Las Vegas and you feel beautiful. You enjoy this weather because right now the weather is only getting more beautiful. They're about to open up these pools and everything. And um, just for the respect, it's not, you know, it's not where you're from. It's where you at, man. You know, home is where your heart is. I'm out here in Vegas and I got to show love to uh, the Vegas, man. You know, so the Las Vegas Raiders, man, you know, uh, but Oak, the Oakland Raiders had to go through, like the Browns had to go through some stuff. Uh, it's real. It's definitely real, man. You know, you don't want to lose your, you don't want to lose your, your team. And, um, but you got to do what you got to do, man. When you're getting signed those big contracts and as your owner of these sports teams, you got to do what you got to do. Um, so shout out to Las Vegas Raiders, Oakland Raiders, whatever you want to call them, man. Listen, man, I'm here, you know, so I got to rap where I'm from, man. Cause I mean, I love it, man. It's it, it truly, I mean, I like Gruden. I always like Gruden, man. And then, and then my dude, uh, I, I, my dude used to make the impressions, do the impressions of Groot, and oh my gosh, man, he was the best. I did this, uh, Cal, uh, Cal, my, Cal, the dude, Cali, uh, something. Y'all know him, the dude that was doing all the impressions, all the football guys, uh, whatever. So, and he's really good at John Madden. I know I'm rambling. I'm, not, I'm like I said, that's why I'm the Mad Clean Browns fan, man. I just talk about a lot of crazy stuff at any given moment. But right now, like I just say, I just wanted to just let y'all know, man, we back. We are back. Yes, we are, man. Guess what? I'm looking at things all around, man. 
you know, I, I know I should be like LeBron and I should get straight into like no watching, no social media mode, no TV mode and get straight locked and loaded for, for, for war. But right now, man, I've been watching a lot of stuff, man. And I'm saying like, listen, man, for us to come as close as we came last year playing against the Kansas City Chiefs, and what we did, and we had a really good game, and we was missing a lot of key components. You know, when I'm thinking about, when I'm thinking about, and I'm thinking about that, man, I'm like, goodness gracious, man. These cats, these cats are this close away from going to the, uh, the Super Bowl. And, um, you know, stuff happens, man. You know, stuff happens. And um, I'm looking now in the off season. We got all this money. We got all this cap space. And we don't, and we have a very young nucleus. We have a very young core. We got Andrew Berry's brand new. We got Kevin Stefanski's brand new. You know, you got Baker. You got Chubb that's going on this country. So you know you about to, you know you got to dub up on them boys. You know you got to break the bank on for Baker and Nick Chubb. And I'm honestly, I mean, now that we're talking about it, what is your opinion on what do you think Hollywood Higgins should get? Do you think he, they should break the bank for Hollywood Higgins? Because I believe Hollywood Higgins, I mean, that's a part of the core. Uh, Hollywood Higgins is a part of the same core as Nick Chubb, Baker. Same thing, man. Uh, uh, all them boys, man. You know, these are cats, man, that's stuck together, man. Ride together, die together, bad boys, man. This is some Will Smith, Martin Lawrence thing going on right here, man. And that's the reason I keep telling these cats about the Odell and the Jarvis, man. That's a bless them. And OBJ, man, the greatest wide receiver you've ever seen in your life, Mr. Mr. One Hand, Mr. Mr. One Hand, Mr. One Hand, you feel me? Every, this, you got to understand the culture that he set and the reason why everybody gets these highlight reels on sports and it's because of Odell Beckham Jr. and because Jarvis. You got to understand what you have on your team. And when people start to say this foolery out of their mouths that we'll be better without Odell Beckham, you see we didn't win the Super Bowl. So imagine us with Jarvis, Odell, Higgins, Chubb, uh, Hunt, Baker, Hoop, Bryant, offensive line strapped and ready to roll. You don't get me started. I need to drop a straight video on my offensive line because you know what? People ain't dropping no videos in the offensive linemen, and that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to drop a, I'm about, I'm dropping videos from my offensive linemen because y'all got to understand, these guys brought us a season that we've never seen before in our life. You hear me? We got these people finally putting some respect on Baker's name. You hear me? I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm still not past Nick Chubb, not winning a Russian title yet. That's one thing that just pisses me off. And I'm going to still put that on any coach that's not giving this man the ball as enough. This man carries should be way more than they are. I mean, you're going to have a longevity. You're going Since he don't get that many carries, he's definitely going to be in the NFL 10-plus years easily. Him and Hunt. Because they don't got a lot of wear and tear because he's splitting the carry. So, I mean, looking at that factor, it. if you're talking about protecting your players, you're protecting your players, you know. But the thing is, for me, I'm getting selfish. I want Nick Chubb to get the dang on rushing title. I believe he deserves it. I believe it's too much put on the dang on quarterbacks in the NFL. I believe maybe the wide receiver should get the MVP sometimes. I believe maybe an offensive lineman should get, a, uh, should get the MVP sometimes. You know, you got to understand this is a team sport. Maybe the coach should get the MVP. You hear me? So this is what I'm just saying, man. When you got when you got all this money going around right now, and we looking as close as we ever been to a Super Bowl in our life, we won championships. You're the reason why championships exist. We got Jim Brown, the greatest football player to ever touch a dang on football ever. Right? Statues. Look at the history books on Jim Brown. Okay? When you got that coming from Cleveland, you hear me? You got championships. You got everybody talks about. It no matter what you say, you are gonna have to put respect on Cleveland Browns name that brown and orange. No matter what that. Dog, rah, 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 rah. You gotta put it on. You gotta put the respect on there because of that man right there himself. We went through a lot of stuff. You can call up, make all the names that you want. You call mistake by the lake all you want, but guess what? We got the shake and bake now. Mistake for the mistake by the lake to the shake and bake. And I'm not to talk about the stuff that you put in your goddamn go food. God dang it. I'm talking about that boy that can dance. When he do that, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. He do that shake it, shake, shake, shake. He do that shake it, shake it, shake, shake. When he, when he do that touchdown, when he do that, it's a boy, that boy's so cold, you hear me? And he can really dance. So right now I'm telling you boys, this is 
a young team. Why wouldn't J.J. Watt want to come here? Why wouldn't Richard Sherman want to come here and lock this up and make this a Super Bowl, uh, a, a championship team just like that? Just like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers just did. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers were this close, and what did they do? They got the missing pieces to the puzzle. They didn't add a lot of pieces. They had a lot of pieces already. Only thing that they did, they got the missing pieces to the puzzle. They had to get the coach. They got the quarterback. Huh? You, you put your tight end. So what did you do? You got your quarterback to get the reliable person that he knows he can count on. Come on, man. Come rock with me. Then that what did that do? That brings on A.B. Oh, my gosh. So now you starting to put this other stuff like some dang on Transformers. And that's what Kevin Stefanski's doing. That's what Joe Woods is going to do. That's what Andrew Barry's going to do. That's what the Hamsons is going to do. And that's what we're going to do as a Cleveland Brown organization. We're about to go hard on this free agency. We're going to go hard on the draft. We're not about to cash out. We're smart. Don't forget, we're about analytics as well. And it's all about logic. So when we do right now, we know how close we are. We know that people are watching us. We know that we can't walk up on nobody next year and be no sleeper team. But y'all know when y'all come into the doghouse. You can't get a dog's bone unless you gotta go inside that dog pit. And when you come in there, when you come in there, when you come in there, you better be ready. Because when you come to the dogs, it's not gonna be a bark. Ain't gonna be nothing but some biting. <laughs> the dog pals, let's go, man. Dog pal against the world. Let's go, baby. Holla at your boy. Make sure you subscribe. You go check out the rest of the video. And you show love to Kevin Stefanski, man, giving us a coach of the year, man. It's something to look forward to this year. Thank you, Andrew Barry, Jim Haslam, all of y'all not giving up, man. All the fans out here, man. I'm holding it down for y'all, man. Y'all look Cleveland, y'all cold right now. I got you. I'm staying warm for you, baby. If y'all need to place any bets in Las Vegas, you call your man. And soon I'm about to be doing advertisement. If y'all need to get some ads out there, you need to get your business out there, I'm about to start dropping ads. Holla at your boy. Mr. Macklin Brown's fan. Let's go, dogs. <laughs>